In this video, we're going to look, look at how to set up um, a blank database ready for us to build the database ourselves. So the first thing I've done is I've opened up Access. Next thing I need to click on blank desktop database. Once I've done that, I need to actually tell it where to save this database because it saves it before you can do anything. It's not like Word um, or PowerPoint where you get to do the work and then save it. So click on the folder. Hopefully you will all have your OneDrive logged in. So click on the OneDrive. Um, click obviously on your year group. I'm going to go to year nine, Palm School Database. Active Database, and then I'm going to click Create, and that will create the database for me. Now, as I told you in the beginning, you cannot have a database without a table, so it automatically brings you into the table. What we need to do now is go into Design View, and this is going to be about my employees people working for my company. So it's going to be a school, so I'm going to say teacher. What we'll do is we leave it as auto number. Auto number will just, the first person will be number one, the next person will be number two, and it will never use the same number. Then we're going to have first name, name, number, last name one, to probably know what country they live in and um, you could have gender okay now some of these we're going to change so first name first name doesn't need to be 255 characters let's just put it down most people's first names will be under 20 characters same for first name uh, same for surname i would say maybe 25 characters on the same safe side phone number is an unusual one we would think it'd be number but it's not it's actually left as text because otherwise, if you put it in as a number, it will delete the first zero. And as we know, mobile numbers and home numbers start with zero. Date of birth, we will change to date time. Addresses can be left as they are. Gender, I'm going to change. I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to do something called a lookup wizard. And I'm going to type in the values that I want. Next, we're going to have male, we're going to have female. Next, um, on here, these are all the different data types that you can have. Okay, so let's have, do they have children in the school? We're going to do a yes, no for that. Um, number of children in school, that's obviously going to be a number. You might also put pay. So maybe how much they're paid every month, which would be currency. Now let's just go and take a look at these. Here we've got the different views. This is the data sheet view and it says you've got to save. Yes, I will save it. So this is where you would put in the people's names. You type in their address. Here we had a drop down list that we made. Then it was children in school, yes or no. And you can see number of children is a number, and it won't let me type in. If I try and type in, it says it does not match the number type. So it says you've got to change that. So we can put a number in there. And obviously, pay, you can see it automatically goes at currency. So that's the basics on how to set up your database.